consultation note in the case of the woman who was murdered tomorrow continued. Interior cellar of the Skimorg. Watson enters the chamber led by an attendant. After our, our examination of the scene in Crow's Court, I attended the district morgue where I was able to examine the remains of the unfortunate Miss Sally Saintsbury. Here we go. Well, this is the this is this is the uh, this is the Crow's Court carriageway. Ward's going to be standing in for the Crow's Court carriageway where the opening murder takes. Well, actually, and, and it's, it's actually not a spoiler because it's in the it's in the it's in the film. This is where this is where you get butchered. It's great. I was trying to. <laughs> So how, how does it feel knowing that this is going to be your, your your final resting place for your ultimate demise? I think it's perfect. I think that first scene really sets the tone of the movie, yeah. and it kind of gives you an idea about what the Shadow Watchers are all about. So a tavern, streets, Crow's Court carriageway, early morning. Raucous laughter and the faint strains of a piano are heard within, in the wee hours of the morning. After a moment, a woman stumbles out, not drunk, but happy. This is Sally Saintsbury an attractive music hall singer in her early to mid-twenties. She adjusts her hat and outfit and then sets off home alone. We follow Sally through the streets, which are generally empty at this time, slowly becoming aware that she is being watched, followed from a short distance away. The viewer becomes the eyes of the strangler, who is putting on a pair of gloves casually. Father Anthony he sits with Evelyn Norwood on a bench overlooking the water, engaged in desperate conversation. Somberly, Evelyn rises and walks forward. Father Anthony looks about nervously and then rises to join Evelyn. Evelyn, I wish that you'd never come to me. All those months ago, I wish that you'd, I'd never met you. But I've loved you so much. I've given you so much. We've shared so much. All that we've shared is your indulgence. Well, you, you know, it's, it's, I mean, this, this is going to be violent. I mean, you know, we refer to the, the, the main killer in the film as being, being uh, much more uh, macabre than, than Jack the Ripper. So. I'm thinking there's gonna be blood everywhere. What do you think? I'm not too. I'm not too afraid. <laughs> I think I'll have to pretend. I'm scared. I think once once it's actually nighttime and once we're here filming, it's gonna be a lot more intense. In the daytime, though, it's it's just nice. It's a beautiful spot. It is. It, it gets a little creepier. And I'll tell you what. When I first Riley crosses into view, joining her on the settee with a glass of wine for each of them. What's wrong? Me? Oh, it's nothing, darling. No, we're well, Evelyn, I know you by now. If I'm paying for our time together, the least you can do is be honest with me. No money. I don't want anything from you tonight. I'm just happy to have your company. Okay. Whatever I can yeah. reveal, I, I will uh, reveal. Not too much, but... Uh, yeah, I, I, I uh, yeah it's, it's a very interesting uh, character. I play uh, Parker Raleigh, who is a, uh, a newspaper man, a, a journalist who sort of gets in uh, way, way over his head with, uh, with his latest story. And um, yeah, a passionate, a passionate man who has his, his own ideas, very ambitious in, in where he wants to be. And, and he finds himself in some circumstances that, uh, that he's having some, some trouble getting out of, and that's how he meets, he meets Sherlock Holmes. And, uh, and, and the adventure continues from there. Now, he also has a, a relationship with, uh, with the lovely uh, uh, Evelyn Norwood as well, and, and that's also a, a, nice, uh, a nice scene that they have uh, between the two of them. And I you know, don't want to reveal too much, but uh, I, think, I think that's a good uh, synopsis of, of Parker. I'll tell you what, when I first, uh, this was actually part of the, 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 the beginnings of the film, when I first found out I had this location, I came in here and I thought, my God, this is a perfect place to actually have a very, very dark stalking and killing or what have you kick off a mystery, so I think if, if, if I didn't have access to this place, you probably wouldn't have this uh, screen. Well, it, it, it really sounds interesting because um, you can see it develop as yeah. it goes through the things, and with the, the special sound effects that are written into the dialogue and stuff like that, oh, yeah. it all comes together. It's amazing how it does. I, I, I can't wait to see the effects of the fog and the effects on the Shadow Watchers, uh, how they're just going to be there and gone the next. The, the artistic part of this will be where our uh, esteemed and very uh, effective director will get the background scenes of the carriageway decorated and everything else. Yeah. I think it's going to be marvelous. I think it's just going to come to a fruition like we will. we're going to have a great time. Holmes and Watson join the Strad, staring down at the terrible scene. This case is getting darker by the instant, the Strad. A writer from the Times has already been here. I hear it's being called... The Adam and Eve killings. The affair of the priest and the prostitute. 
What do you think, Holmes? Is the uh, killer making a statement? Perhaps. Or maybe this was an act of necessity. What do we know about the young Father Jeffers? He was the resident priest at the Church of the Immaculate Trinity. Until last night, that is. Mm. Uh, looks like Parker Raleigh is off the hook, then. Evidently. Although I wouldn't release him right away, Inspector, if only for his own protection. You think that whoever is behind these atrocities might have it in for him? Perhaps. But for now, let us err on the side of caution. I do, however, think that we should pay Mr. Raleigh another visit and discuss his relationship. We'll shoot them probably, or maybe even on this side, uh, in shadow, because we do the smoke machine. Pump that in, and, uh, of course, the shadow watchers, who are they? Who are these mysterious figures who seem to be orchestrating these terrible crimes? Well, you know what? You're going to have to watch the film to find out, I think. That's right.